Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan, Dan, the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 64, The Giver, by Lois Lowry. This was a great book. It brings you into a very different world from our own, but a world that seemed pretty similar at first. Then it strips away the thin layers one by one until you are horrified by the end of the book. It seems so innocent at first as you get to know the characters. Then you slowly discover just how weird the world they live in is. Everything is controlled and regulated. There is no pain, and everything works like a well-oiled machine in their society. But that's only for the ones who fit in and follow the rules. Everyone else gets released. I won't tell you what that means, because wanting to find out was a huge factor pushing me through the story as I read it. This is easily one of the most interesting books I've ever read. The world Lois Lowry creates in this novel is like nothing else I've ever read. I loved how the world just slowly creeps up on you. The more you read, the creepier it is, and the more you realize how messed up everything is in the place the characters live. It was a very light, easy read, but slowly unraveled a complex and cringeworthy story world that leaves you turning the pages faster and faster so you can dive deeper into this world and find out just what the heck is going on. I really liked the main character Jonas and discovering the secrets of his world with him as I read through the story. I loved rooting for him and feeling for him. Seeing him react to things that in his society would be unimaginable was awesome. His journey to the truth was a great one to witness. I can't say enough about this wonderful little book, and I don't want to spoil any of it, so that's where I'll end my review. Cool. Well, on that note, let me give you guys some great news. This podcast is sponsored by Audible, which means you can go get a free audiobook. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial of their service. This week, I'm recommending The Giver by Lois Lowry and narrated by Ron Rifkin. Now, I didn't actually read this book by listening to the audiobook, which is very rare for me. That's how I do almost all of my reading. But I did pop over to Audible and listen to the sample, and Ron Rifkin is a great narrator. He was delivering the story with excellence. It was really good. So check it out. If you are looking for a book that has a lot to it and has a rich world, but is a lot shorter than most books, this one is only about five hours long. Hop on over to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews for your free audiobook, and you can get any audiobook of your choice. But I'm recommending The Giver by Lois Lowry, narrated by Ron Rifkin. Check it out, and be amazed by the growing, changing, crazy world that the character lives in. Now, let's get back to that review. So, as I said, uh, I do almost all of my reading by listening to audiobooks. But in this case, I've owned the paperback of The Giver for who knows how long, a long time. And so my wife and I were going on vacation to Mexico. We went to Cabo. And so when we would go hang out by the pool or the beach, I would bring my little paperback copy of The Giver with me. So I read almost all of the book in Cabo, Mexico by the pool. And it was... Uh, kind of funny having the juxtaposition of being on vacation in a tropical paradise while reading about a place that seemed kind of like a paradise but slowly unraveled that it was no such place and so 
uh, having those awesome, like, uncomfortable moments where you stop and you're like, whoa, that's really messed up. And then looking up and asking for another dirty monkey and going to take a quick dip in the pool is just kind of a funny uh, juxtaposition. But anyways, one reason I love reading books is because they can really take me to other places. My imagination goes crazy and I can just be in the moment with the characters when I'm reading a good book that can just kind of transport me into that story. Uh, The Giver definitely did that for me and it was really cool. I've heard that the movie is pretty good. I have not seen that, so that's probably something I should check out. And also there are three other books in this series that I would like to check out. And they call the series The Giver Quartet. So if you've ever wondered, uh, you know, a lot of books are called a trilogy. They have three books in the series. Now you know, if there's four books in the series, you can call it a quartet. There you go. You're welcome. That one was free. Get a little education. You learn something new every day, right? So anyways, uh, I hope that as the summer is about to kick off, You have an awesome reading list and that you will be sitting by the pool or laying on the couch and chilling out, relaxing with a good book this summer. Lots of good books. I would love to hear if you have a summer reading list or if you have recommendations for me to read so I can pop on back here and give you guys a review of it. It might even be that I've already read the book, but I just haven't reviewed it on here, so... If you want to know what I think of a certain book, let me know. You can go to dandantheartman.com and just leave a comment. You can also hit me up on social media, and I will let Mike tell you where to find me there. And that's all I've got for you guys this week, so do a little research, talk to your friends, gather up and make a list of books that you want to read this summer, and let's have an awesome summer of reading this 2017. All right, guys, talk to you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.